Hi there, welcome back to Wayne's Garage. Uh, just a quick video. I did start doing one before, but um, the phone storage ran out, and also um, it didn't show a lot of the process, like the process that I was doing to fix the water bottle. So I'm just going to go over it with you, um, and that with this one. Um, now, just in this area here, I don't know if you can actually see. Um, there was a hole, um, and that. Now I've gone along with my fiberglass dip, and then there was a big hole on this side. Um, so now I've gone along with my fiberglass dip, and I've shaped it uh, just with the fiberglass veneer. And that now I will be fixing the lip. Uh, there is a way I will be doing that, and I'll probably show you guys how. Um, also, gone along and I've fitted a washer bottle motor. Um, and that with this, I've uh, gone along and I've uh, I've used my Stanley knife and that and some little bits of sandpaper and I've gone along to make the hole big enough that I can actually thread it into. Like I've also gone over and used a a, um, a sharpie to. Uh, go around it. Now just to make sure it doesn't leak um, water, what I've also done is I've gone along and used a bit of uh, gasket maker um, silicon stuff uh, to uh, stop any leaky leaks from happening. Also if you can see on the inside I've also lined it a little bit with a bit of fiberglass as well. Um, yeah, that's not the best, but it should do should do the job quite well. Um, don't know if you can. No, I can't can't see with the camera down that one. No, yeah, there we go. And then a tiny little bit for that hole there as well. Um, Once it's all dry, I'm going to be sanding it back and um, smoothing it all out uh, so it can fit in better. You might be wondering why I've put a washer bottle, aftermarket washer bottle motor in. Well, I figured if I could hide the motor because I'm not uh, the one on the the washer, uh, the windscreen washer, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work because uh, there was an aftermarket bottle in it when I got it. So I've gone along and installed it into this bottle and hopefully it will hold water and I don't find any more cracks in it. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, I, I've got to take the little uh, nip bit off the end of the uh, hose section there because it sits quite close in. Once I've smoothed it all out, it will fit in better, but if you look really, really closely up there, yeah, there is only a very long gap now. Yeah. Not too sure on how we're going to connect it up yet, but I want it hidden away, so, so the wires will still get kind of hidden. Um, I'll do the same thing as I've got here. I'll run because these are the two, two uh, tails, I'll run them through from there into the plastic conduit and then I'll run a small bit up underneath there just to tidy it up. Um, like yeah I know I, I need to do the rust and take the whole front and the engine out and all that sort of stuff and I'm working on stuff like this but 
figured if I fit it all now, uh, then it's all dummied. Then I know how it's going to fit when I reinstall everything. Um, on that, so yeah, so, yeah, it's uh, happening slowly. Uh, now I've also uh, got a lend of uh, a horse, panel horse, so I can go along and uh, start doing the rush repairs on the, the left front guard. So that will be a video that will be happening this week. Um, so hopefully I'll have that uploaded by Friday. Um, on that. Uh, so yeah, so that will happen because uh, I've got to dummy fit it all up onto the, the car and all that sort of stuff first. Hoping that my mate Pete can give me a hand at the same time. Um, so I'll end up doing that because um, we need to dummy fit it to uh, find out where it needs to all sit and line into. So yeah, alright then, take it easy. Happy Christmas, uh, not Christmas, happy Easter. and. Um, just a quick shout out to Brock, uh, happy Easter mate, and I'll talk to you later. Cheerio for now.